Hello everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and tonight we're going to show you how to make one of probably the best gifts you could ever give or receive. The rice warmer. You can also put corn in it but we're going to do rice. So with this project you can use it for sore aches and muscle cramps, any sort of pains. It's great for birthdays, get wells, Christmas, and it's a quick and easy project. Let's go ahead and start cutting our fabric. Which I've already done. So we have a piece for the outer fabric and we have a piece for the inner fabric. The inner fabric is what's going to make our bag that will be put into the microwave. This has to be 100% cotton as well as using 100% cotton thread. Now with our outer fabric, you could technically do whatever you wish um, content wise. However, if you're gifting this, you cannot guarantee that they will not put that in the microwave. So I would also make sure it is 100% cotton so that if they do not take it off when they go to put it in the microwave, there won't be an accident. So this piece is cut 10 inches by 40 inches and your bag piece is cut 10 inches by 36 inches. We're gonna begin by working with our outer piece. And to start, we're gonna go hem these two short sides. So let's head over to the iron. We are going to begin by hemming our two short ends, and with that we're going to do a double half inch hem. So I want y'all to take and mark an inch in from your raw edge. So we are using a friction pin, you can use a taco liner, a hair marker, whatever you like to mark your fabric with, or whatever will show up. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Now that we have marked both sides, we are going to press to that line, and this will be our half an inch, and then we will fold it over and press again. Now that those are pressed, go and stitch right along those edges. And stitch straight down. Repeat for the other side. Once these are stitched, now we are going to make the magic happen. Now that we have our ends hemmed, we have to create our cover so that the rice bag can go inside of it. So we need these to overlap four inches, and you need to do this with the right side facing out. Promise it'll make sense in a minute. Everything looks good. So we have a four inch overlap here. Let's put some clips on it. And we are going to go over to the machine and stitch a quarter inch those two edges. So again, right side facing out and stitch a quarter inch just on those two edges that are not folded. When you come up to the area where it's overlapped, make sure to back stitch because that's where the pressure will be at. Now we have both sides sewn. And we're going to trim any strings that are hanging off and go ahead and clip those corners just so we don't have that point there. Do that on all four. Now 
Now we're going to flip it where the right sides are inside. So wrong side out. We're going to take our little stiletto, locally made here in town by Mr. Grouchy. We're going to poke out our corners and then we're going to go to the iron and press that seam flat. I need this to lay flat. Do a little finger press. Now we're going to go back over to the machine and we're going to sew a half inch seam allowance now on both of these sides. That way, when we flip it out, we'll have nice clean seams inside and, of course, outside. Now, stitch using half inch seam allowance. Clip your strings. And our outside bag will be done. Now we just have to flip it right sides out, give it another little pressing, and work on the inner bag. Now we have our outer cover complete with our little over flap. So we're gonna put him over to the side and grab our bag that goes in the microwave. So again, 36 by 10. We're gonna fold it together. If you're using a, just another fabric that doesn't have um, the same side, it doesn't matter which, make sure that these are right sides together. Right sides together. So now with them right sides together, we are going to stitch using a 3 8 seam allowance around, leaving a spot over here to pour our rice in. Don't leave it over here on the sides because there's too much of a chance of rice flowing out of your bag before you get it finished and filled. So we're gonna leave the bag hole up here so we can pour the rice straight in. Let's go stitch. So again, this will be the microwave bag part. So it needs to be 100% cotton and we are using 100% cotton thread. Needle down, pivot, if you want up far enough. Now needle down and pivot. Still back stitching at those corners. Go up to our first line. Back stitch. Go to your next line. Back stitch. So we have our hole. And now we continue closing up this back. Same thing, clip the excess in those corners, flip it right sides out. I like to go in and get the furthest corner and pull that through. Now let's fill it up with some rice. So now that our rice bag part is sewn, we have to fill this. So I like to fill it about a third of the way up. So you can find the third by folding it in thirds. So you have it in thirds. And then you can put a clip on it. So you know roughly where that's at. So that's how much rice we're gonna put in it. So I have a funnel and a cup and lots of rice. You can also use corn. In fact, the feed store is a great place if you're making lots of these, get a big old bag of corn and you could use that as well. Either one. You can also take and put essential oils in here. Um, I honestly like to just put them on the outside bag so that um, if I wanna change it up, I don't necessarily put it in with the rice. I'll just put a couple of dabs on the actual muslin or cotton fabric. Lavender is really good.
but I think we're pretty good. So now we are going to make sure these raw edges are folded in and we're just going to top stitch that closed. Make sure to back stitch and start before the actual hole. We don't want the rice coming out. And now we have our rice bag. So let's merge the two together. So I like to just have the rice at one end, go ahead and stick it in there and then let it fall. And now we have a rice warmer, perfect gift for anyone young or old. We appreciate you taking the time to look at our video. If you were interested in this video, make sure to check out our cold compress video also that correlates with this one. Also a great gift. Again, you can find us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified every time we put another video up. Hit that bell to get notifications. Thank you for joining us.